Hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm Caitlin. We're two of the teachers for this year's Science Boost. And we got two tips for the Science 10 Provincial for you. Okay, so our first tip comes from the world of chemistry. We're going to be talking about valence electrons, which are the electrons on the outside of an atom. And these show up all over on the provincial. So it's really helpful to know how to easily find out how many valence electrons an atom has. And so a really easy tip for this is just take a look at where that element is on the periodic table, look at the number of the column it's in, and it's always the second digit of that number. So for example, if it's in column two, like magnesium, it's going to have two valence electrons. If it's in column 15, like phosphorus, it's going to have five valence electrons. The only exception to this rule is helium, which has two instead of eight, but all the other ones follow it. Now, as for the ones in the middle, the transition metals and the lanthanides and the actinides, they follow stranger rules, and the good news is you never need to know about their valence electrons for the provincial. Tip number two, reading climatographs. Not sure which one of these is temperature or precipitation. All you gotta remember, when you pour water into a cup, the water goes to the bottom. These bars here represent precipitation. These guys here are temperature. To figure out what the right numbers are, just make sure you go to the right axis. Precipitation, millimeters, temperature in degrees Celsius. We hope these tips help you on your Science 10 Provincial. Good luck, and we'll see you at the boost.